What is up, cool kids? Happy Wednesday, May 31st. Last Wednesday in May. Tomorrow is the start of June. And holy moly, does time fly. It's a Wednesday. You guys know what that means. In the Flilly Flipper Casa, Wednesday means it is time to edit a main video for the channel and to do a Poshmark sale. So usually that would be a difficult Wednesday because Poshmark sales take time to set up, get all that stuff going. Today I'm doing Disney prints. I'm doing all of these Disney prints that take no time to set up. I'm just gonna have them next to me. Um, very easy to, to figure out, very easy to do. So I'm not worried about the Poshmark side of things. Poshmark side, what other things? Did I say what not in the beginning or did I say Poshmark first? I don't know. I had a video about Poshmark yesterday, so I have Poshmark on my mind. But um, it's not really worried about the wooden side of things. It's very simple there. Um, the, so the big thing for me is to do is the big video. We're gonna get started on that as soon as we can. Get that done. And then I wanna finish listing all the stuff from the flea market. So that way we have the table empty for the whatnot show tonight. So those are the, those are the two, three big tasks for the day. Um, I have started learning. I woke up and started defreezing some steaks for tonight. I still have plenty of chicken leftover. I have to use this leftover from yesterday um, for more wraps today that I can, that I can enjoy. Um, I had uh, I had two wraps last night and I had one this morning. So I still have enough for at least three wraps there. So it's gonna get me going through lunch and until dinner uh, for sure. And then we'll try to do some steaks for dinner right before my whatnot show. All right, as you guys can see, green screen is up. The video is done. It's a little after four. I thought it was a little after four. It's a little, a lot after four. <laughs> it's 4.20 p.m. We just uh, finished the video, also had Another wrap. I'm addicted to wraps. I'm a wrap connoisseur. <laughs> it's another wrap, uh, and we had that for um, for dinner because uh, it's between lunch and dinner, and every lunch and dinner. We'll still have a steak. I probably might have the steak after the show now because if I'll be hungry before the show. But one that show again, not gonna be hard to set up. So so from now until then, my goal is to get all the stuff listed. I've been also charging. Um, I've been charging batteries for tomorrow because tomorrow I need to cut my grass. My grass has been crazy, so I've been getting the batteries ready for tomorrow to get that out of the way. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow as it comes to house prep and cleaning and all of that that I am not going to be tempting myself with um, garage sales. I have a lot of stuff to list. Um, I haven't even touched the stuff I got from this weekend. And not, not to mention, I still have all the flea market stuff. Not to mention, I still have stuff outside, like to list from the eBay buyout. There's still stuff from, from last weekend. I still have stuff from um, Flea Across Florida to list. So I have a lot of stuff to list. Plus, I had to do a lot of landscaping uh, to get my house ready for my, my parents to, to cut. I have to weed whack, I have to, I have to do all that stuff. I have to get the house cleaned and work in order. Uh, a lot of stuff that needs to do that, uh, and I have a lot of still like a lot of content on uh, that I could put out on on um, on YouTube that I don't really have that big of a FOMO of missing a Thursday of garage sale. So I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna tell myself we're not looking for any sales uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'm getting up in the morning when it's still uh, uh, still mildly not hot. And we're gonna cut the grass. We're gonna start with that. And then we're gonna spend all day listing. We gotta get a big number up tomorrow. I wanna get it cut up and not have that much stuff in the house. Get it all listed, get it out of here, and um, get, up, get a little cut up with the stuff that I have. So that's kind of the plan. So we're not gonna tempt ourselves. We're not gonna go anywhere tomorrow. Then Friday, we're back in the yard sales. Saturday, we're back in the yard sales. But tomorrow we're gonna take take a little day off. So right now, until my show starts, which is in about three hours, I'm gonna try to get as much of the stuff listed as possible. At least get maybe the big stuff to listed as possible, so it's out of here, so that we have enough room here in the stable to do our whatnot show. All right, so it is 6:40 p.m. now. We have listed quite a bit more of stuff. We still have a decent amount left. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would say like eight or nine listings left from the um, flea market stuff. So we did pretty good. Uh, and a lot of it is the shoes that were drying from the week before. So not even flea market stuff. Four of those are shoes from, that were drying from before. So 
without those we're we're down to not that much stuff at all so happy with that one of the shows in about 50 45 minutes so i had to make myself some dinner it's a little foggy isn't it sorry about the fogginess um cook myself a little steak been a while since i had a steak so there we go nice slow new york strip and the beautiful part about it is that i froze through at time so good thing for tomorrow is we got one ready for boom uh i wish i had more veggies on hand because i already ate a lot of my veggies i really don't want to go shopping for more veggies until my parents get here so uh because wraps really good with veggies and the cute i had uh, yesterday i had a cucumber chicken wrap then i had a green bell pepper chicken wrap and i had a radish chicken wrap today so <laughs> i've been using all my veggies i'm done with cucumbers i don't have any more cucumbers i have one more bell pepper and i have a couple avocados left so we might have to do something I want to do another wrap. <laughs> I want to do another wrap with the steak. I have a nice little steak wrap. Why not? I have the tortillas, right? Make a wrap out of it. it tastes so good. So we'll do probably some steak with some cheese and I don't know, peppers. We'll do a wrap out of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was probably my best not best whatnot show ever. I think that's the most money I ever made on a whatnot show. It was just now. I sold all the pits. Every pin that you guys said, uh, that you guys saw, I sold. I was getting burned out towards the end, so instead of doing pick two, we went to pick three, and then at the end where I had like 60 left or something like that, 50 left, I was like, you know what? We're just, we're just doing 10, <laughs> 10 at a time, 10 at a time, and the last match was 20 at a time. And I was like, we're just selling them all. I just, uh, I was just tired. I think it was on for like over two hours. I was burned out, so we just sold them all. And you guys see right here, this is the end result. I had different bags of people's, different people's names. People ask me, again, how I do this by myself, because a lot of people that do these like pick twos when, there's, when it doesn't say what's in the description. It's people have other people helping them out and then they put them in different bags and stuff. I do this to help me uh, sort them later. So anytime R. Harmon would have won, uh, she got a bag right here. We have one for Carol, we have one for Blue Sun. This is for all that junk. This bag is for Simply Smarter Shopping. We have Lisa Jones over here. We got Pages over here. So anytime they would win, I would find their bag and add the pins to their bag. That's what we do. So now all I have to do is just take the bag, bubble wrap it, put it in the box, and then ship that out to the people that won. So shipping is not gonna be that hard. I think we had um, like 15 or something or 16 people that won total uh, the pins. And um, so it's gonna be only 16 packages going out which isn't hard, and I made over $1,100. Well, I didn't make over $1,100, I sold over $1,100. After um, fees and the cost of goods, I think I'm gonna be in like an $800 profit. With, that's the beauty of one though. I bought these on Monday, and it's Wednesday night, and now they're all gone. This is how, like, so when people say like, is Walden replacing eBay? No, Walden's not gonna replace eBay. But for stuff like this, uh, I think one that's great. Absolutely love it. Uh, stuff was gone. I got the, I, a lot of my uh, supporters came and bought from me. People that collect pins or whatever, they came and bought from me. So uh, it's, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. And I'm gonna pack them all tonight as well because I have a big day tomorrow full of uh, stuff around the house. I don't really want to have another task of packing one orders and I want my, my people to get them as fast as possible too. So we're gonna pack them and get them out tomorrow morning. So right now, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna put some beats on and we're gonna pack these guys and get them out of here. Oh man, guys, I just had the biggest scare. I checked my YouTube studio for my main channel and all of my latest videos were not there. Like I went through my content and my latest video was from like February. And I legit just almost peed my pants. I thought somebody hacked into my account and deleted all my videos. And I was terrified. Um, then I called, uh, I called some people. I called Dave, ADH Dave, NC Picker Dave, NC Flipper Dave. And he said that he has the same thing and then other people have the same thing. So I'm hoping it's a glitch on YouTube's point and they figured it out. But man, my heart was beating. <laughs> yeah, that the clue how many how much work that was put in to that thing. And I thought somebody legit just hacked me into leading them all. Oh, whew. 
Phew, that was scary. My, my heart legit was beating so fast. Anyways, just want to tell you guys that. Uh, back to work now. Back to, back to shipping these pins. All right, ladies and gents. Why not orders are packed. The YouTube video for tomorrow is titled and thumbnailed and ready to go. I am tired. I am exhausted. We have a big day tomorrow, so I need to get my beauty rest. So I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. What is good, cool kids? Happy Thursday. Happy June. June 1st. June 1st. It is Thursday. It is uh, early in the morning, but I've been a busy bee already. I've been pretty busy. As you guys can tell by the first thing is that I got a haircut. That was on my to-do list for the day. Haircut has been achieved. We got a haircut. I did some yard work this morning. I had some uh, dead um, palm tree things that I have to take care of and get in the tractor for a trash can this morning. We did that. I went, got my mower out, was eager, ready to go get this grass cut, and the grass said, not today, Paul. Uh, grass is kind of high, and it was pretty wet, so it's just been, my mower would just die every like five feet, and I was just, couldn't take it. You got a potential spam in the middle of my introduction. How dare this potential spam call me? So, uh, it, 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 it broke me. The grass finally broke me. I was on the verge of getting broken already with the grass, how long it was taking me and how much time I was taking away from my day. So, it finally broke me today. This was the breaking point. I decided to start looking for some landscaping help and some lawnmower help because, I could, like I told you guys before, if I am running, for me, time is money, and I'd rather hire somebody to help me with other tasks so I can focus on my business, I can focus on my reasoning, I can focus on my YouTube. And at this point, a lot of my focus was going to the grass, and it wasn't, and uh, I'd rather pay somebody to do it and just list more and post more and make better quality stuff that will pay for in the long run. So we are looking for a landscaper. I have somebody come in today to look at it, Hopefully they give me a good price and I say cut it and then we'll move on and we'll continue doing that. So that happened. I just put a load of laundry in uh, as well to, to, to get laundrified. That's the word, right? Laundrified. <laughs> so we had that going. We're going to do all the laundry today. Um, uh, so a lot of stuff already went down. Right now, probably gonna, uh, after this is done, I'm probably going to edit a vlog for tomorrow. So the vlogging. A duty is done for the day and then uh, we're gonna list we're gonna list and then clean and organize my office hasn't been cleaned in a while so I think it's time that we clean this office and get this all situated and settled we're gonna do that and then we're gonna list um, today is June 1st so we're starting in June um, we're doing uh, have it, we're doing a listing goal again for this month uh, we're doing a little bit for May and April, but not really anything like concrete. In June, we'll do a concrete, and the concrete goal for June is 500 a day. Any day that I am here in this building, I want to list $500 in items, which I think is doable, and we're going to start off today. So we're going to, we got the calendar going. Well, right here, um, my calendar is, is used for both my podcast and my listing goals. So whenever I'm recording a video of somebody, it'll be there. So for example, like we're supposed to have TJ on Monday, but we came down, we had Becky on Tuesday, we have Josh tonight, we got Gorgeous on Saturday. A lot of Josh recording that tonight. So this is how I keep track of who, what days I'm recording with people. And we're also gonna keep track of our goal for the day on this as well, as you guys see, June 500, that's the goal. So listing $500 in items today, cleaning the office, making the office look clean. Uh, by listing the items, hopefully we'll make the uh, living and dining room more clean as well, because these things will get listed and put be put away. Um, I also kinda wanna do something with the garage. Uh, I have an empty rack in there that I want to kind of start filling with more inventory because we need space for more stuff. And I have two bins in here that have listed inventory that shouldn't be in the office. It's listed inventory, so it should be in the garage. That's where listed inventory goes. So I'm hoping that I can clear some shelf space there. We can get that there and make more room in the office today as well. So a lot of things got to go down. And then my interview of Josh is at 7 p.m. Uh, we're playing along, we're doing good. Video is edited, uh, is rendering right now. I forgot to do two more tasks, add two more tasks to my list. One is ending and relisting, which we just did as well, adding a lot of stuff to flip to cross post. 
just did that as well and now we're gonna actually head out to the post office because i forgot i i packed my whatnot orders last night and i gotta go drop them off at the post office so we're gonna go do that go to the, to the post office also check my p.o box and we'll be right back all right we're back from the post office sorry about the darkness it's about to be lighter don't yell at me <laughs> it's about to get lighter uh we'll get back to the post office on the way back i saw somebody cutting uh, a company cutting some grass from my neighbor three houses down. So I stopped him and said, hey, if you guys want to come over to mine <laughs> afterwards, please, uh, please feel free. So he gave me the card, texted my address. So hopefully they come over and, um, and cut mine. I know when I used to only at Linscom Company, I always liked when neighbors asked me to cut theirs too, because it's really, cause that cuts down on driving time. Uh, Josie guys are not aware, I think I said it before. I owned a pretty successful landscaping company for how short I had it. I think I did a really good job with it. It was called the Lawn Barber. It's giving lawns a haircut, haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, I've had it for one year. And in one year, I got like 120 customers. Uh, I think I had, yeah, I had it for one full season, 120 customers in one year. That thing was scooting. I, I would be like on a street. I remember there was one street where I had a bunch of row homes. Now we'd be cutting one house, and he liked how I cut it. The neighbor came over and said, "Hey, can you add mine to it as well?" I was like, "I sure can." And so the next week I came over, I would cut both of their houses. And then somebody from across the street said, "Hey, we need to cut here as well." And in like a matter of a month, I went from having one house on that street to six. And that was awesome because I can just go to one street, park once, take my stuff out once, and do six cuts at the same time. So I'm hoping they would enjoy that part and um, maybe give me a discount or something since they're already cutting on my street anyways. So we'll see. They're, they're hopefully going to come over after they're done and give me a price. Um, yeah, uh, the reason why, some are probably going to ask, the reason why I don't do that anymore, um, that's when... Um, in the, in the winter in PA, there was no grass to cut uh, because it's snowing and it's cold. So that's when I apply, I was look, looking for other work, and I applied to work at Anthropology, the headquarters at Urban Outfitters, and then they hired me as a full-time, and I had to decide between a Fortune 500 company with a good potential for a future there or continuing the landscaping business. And I decided the Fortune 500 company, which looking back now, probably wasn't the right choice, but then because of making that choice, I am where I am now. So maybe it was the right choice, right? I believe, I truly believe in everything happening for a reason. There's a reason for all that we do. And I think if I didn't choose uh, anthropology, I would still be maybe cutting grass to this day which means I would still probably be in PA and you guys wouldn't know about me. So maybe there is, uh, maybe I did make the right choice, you know? It's, it's crazy to think back. What would, like, what, what would your life look differently if you chose option B instead of option A? It's crazy how much our lives would be different, right? But anyways, let's, I'm not talking about my million. Let's talk about the present, let's talk about the future. Right now we've got a list. I got a list, hit our 500 goal. All right, so update. I don't know if you guys can tell or can hear about what's going on. My lawn's getting cut. We got Valpo Lawn Care on the scene. My front yard's already done. We're doing great. Onto the backyard now. Fantastic. Uh, I'm very happy with the decision I made. It's gonna cost me $40 a cut, which I figure uh, that's gonna be the going rate for how big my yard is. We're gonna do it, as I said in the summer, they're gonna do it every week, which makes sense. And then uh, fall, spring, winter area, they'll do it twice a week, which again, uh, twice a week, tw every two weeks. So he's gonna add it to my budget uh, for the month. That's 160 uh, a month for summer with four cuts and that's 80 a month for the winter. So 160, that's the worst, right? A summer, my a average sale price right now is about $30 an item. 160 divided by 30, that's five, six items to list. So I had to list an extra six items a month to cover the landscaping duty. Would I rather cut, so, so here's the, here's the, Here's the, the brain working here, right? What's better use of my time? Would I rather cut my lawn four times a month or would I rather list six extra items? I would much rather list six extra items, especially since that takes me about five minutes to list. <laughs> it's half an hour of work. 
compared to cutting my grass four times a month, right? So again, this is something, something that's gonna work for me. Uh, I'm very happy to do it and very happy to give people a business. Um, these guys seem like they know what they're doing. The, the front yard looks amazing. The backyard, I'm sure it's gonna look great as well. So very excited to have this going on. All right, so it's 3 p.m. now. We're making really good progress with everything. I am at $430 in listings for the day. So again, close to 500. Working on some Pez right now. We got some Disney Pez. Uh, Pez, I'm gonna probably try to look it up, see if we gotta lock these things up or do what. But we had a lot of Phineas and Ferb. There's a lot no, I know I love that show. We have Phineas Ferb, we got their sister right here. Yeah, it looks like it's a, it's a snail from SpongeBob. But we'll see, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do a, a lot. Uh, lock these up on, um, what's it called? <laughs> on eBay or just bring them to, to whatnot. Haven't figured it out yet. But uh, we, we got that going. Laundry is done. We did all the laundry uh, for the day, for the last week. That's uh, done, folded, put back into place. Um, the lawn is done, the lawn looks, looks great. They did a great job. I am so shocked they fit in here. The guy had like a ride on mower. I have no clue how he fit that ride on mower in my backyard. <laughs> but he did fit it. And my backyard doesn't just look good because it's cut, but it looks good because the grass is actually growing. <laughs> the grass is actually growing because it's been raining so the grass is growing. So it actually looks luscious and green. now. So it looks great. I love it. Did a good job with um, the weed whack and everything. And it's pros. You now pros do a pro job. So it's, it's funny. We had to, uh, I'm not sure from the other side because the door is locked. So, uh, so we'll see that what they had to do to, to make this work. <laughs> like I said, uh, they had a ride on mower, right? And those big boy, like easy turn ride on mowers. And this is the, the entranceway I had to, to get to here. There's no way that could fit here on this thing. And I had a huge bush right here. It used to be a bush. The you see is carried everywhere. Huge rose bush that all it did to me was just give me cuts when I would walk right past it. Right? It wasn't a helpful thing. And because the bush was there, this thing the door did not open all the way. So now just because the bush is not there, the door swings all the way open and still uh, all the way open. I have no clue how he fit that easy turn through here, but he did. <laughs> and they cut it. So props to them. They did, they did great. They worked extra hard today. So it's going to set them up to work easier the next couple of cuts or whatever. But I'm very happy with the work that was done. Um, lawn is is done. So as far as so tasks are getting, w w we're killing on the tasks section. But the problem is the tasks keep adding up as well. With all the commotion going on, I forgot today is Thursday, which means tomorrow is yard sale day. I never have any mail. Never have any. Nobody likes me. Nobody sends me mail. <laughs> it's funny. I get way more mail in my PO box than I get in my regular mailbox. It's pretty funny. Um, so, because today is tomorrow is Friday, and we're going picking in the morning, I can't pack the orders tomorrow. So again, we have to pack them t tonight. So that's that has to get added on. What is that noise? You guys hear that? I think some bird is dying or something. I don't know. Some bugs are here, man. The 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 the, the wild the wildlife. Almost called the wilderness life. The wildlife here in Florida is different. <laughs> it's different. But, uh, so we have to add that now to the list. So after I have my interview with uh, Josh, should be 9 p.m. We have to start uh, pulling orders. I want to do more listings after the interview, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. We're gonna have to pull pull, pull orders and get that done. Also, um, another thing I wanna say, I'm watching uh, my, my interview with, with Dan on the flip side, and um, he says like, oh, I wanna say something cool, and he says, don't get it twisted. <laughs> it's the coolest thing that they could say. Is don't get it twisted. So don't get it twisted, guys. Uh, my $500 goal doesn't mean that as soon as I hit 500, I stop. No, uh, there will be days where I, where I go to six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, or whatever. It's just how in the mood I am to list. It's not like oh, 500. That's it. I'm done for the day. That's not my goal. My goal is 500 is not a min. Five, uh, 500 is not a max. 500 is a min. Hopefully that makes sense. So I have to at least hit 500 
but I can go for a lot more. The minutes 500. So right now we're at 430. Doesn't mean I'm going to do like two or three more listings and we're going to call it done. We're going to go as much energy as I have and we're, we still have to organize the office, still have to do something in the garage. So, um, and we have like four hours before the, the, the interview. So, uh, and dinner has to get made too during that time. So we're going to list periodically here and there, but it's not even going to hit like 501 and say that's it for the day. That's just the, just the main goal. So another task that I decided to just recently add on to my to-do list is um, uh, the wind knocked over my flag here a while ago. Super windy, so my flag got knocked over. I had it in the smoke for a while, just showing, but it did not look good here. Nobody saw it, so I decided to finally hang it up. Um, I had a uh, flag thing, flag stand delivered, whatever put in the tree and finally hanging. So that looks good too. People, people driving by will know what we stand for right here. <laughs> okay, it is now 6.30, so half an hour before my interview. Office is more or less clean and organized, how I like it. Garage is more or less clean and organized, I like it. We did $620 in listings. I don't think I'm gonna list from now until uh, the interview and like I said before, I am um, pulling orders after, so we could safely write 620 down. That's going to be our number for the day. So happy with that, 620, starting off $120 above um, what we wanted to do. So pretty, pretty good. Still got a decent amount of stuff left over. Plus, I'm going to pick it again tomorrow. To me, like this starts a new uh, yard sale weekend tomorrow and Saturday. So we should have more stuff here. So hitting the number the next couple days shouldn't be a problem. The only issue with me hitting the number would be that my parents are here. My parents are here for the whole week starting on Sunday. They're driving Saturday morning to my house. It's like a 16 hour drive, so they'll get here like Saturday night. So Sunday is the first day they will be here. And they're here until I think Friday of, uh, of next week. So they're here for six days. And I don't want to just like say, oh, cool, guys, thanks for coming. I don't want to say like, oh, guys, cool, thanks for coming. I'm going to go to work, right? So I have to figure out a way to um, be with them and work at the same time and make that schedule happen, which might be a little difficult, but I think we can pull it off. All righty, it's much later in the day. We finished our episode with Josh, a lot of Josh. That was a lot of fun. I haven't talked to Josh in a while. It was great to catch up. A lot of insightful information he shared. Just great, great, great time. We finished that. We just pulled the orders because we gotta go to the yard sales tomorrow. And holy moly, we had an awakening on our eBay store. It's crazy what happens when you list stuff sells. <laughs> we had like three sales on Mercari today. We had a Facebook sale. No Poshmark sales, but we got 31 sales on eBay. 31 sales on eBay for over a thousand dollars. Not the greatest. Um, average sale price but stuff all their stuff was moving so we're happy with that we had three sales on mercari uh, one sale on facebook absolutely uh love it so we're here a little earlier than we usually are it's like 9 30 in the day right now usually i pack orders like around 11 until all of a sudden it's done but we, because we have so much to pack i want to get things pulled earlier so we can get them done and go to bed so what we got we sold on facebook can really show you guys because it's kind of vile. It's like a naked zombie shirt. It's from like a, some hard rock band. I got it at a yard sale in Pennsylvania for $2. Uh, it's the same yard sale where I got the, like the little leprechaun uh, gnome blow mold. This was there. That just was sold for $75 on Facebook. I'm very happy it's sold on Facebook because that was my original listing price on eBay. And I think I already lowered it to like 50 bucks on eBay. <laughs> But it's sold on Facebook, so it got food by sale. Love it. Next on Mercari, we sold this New York Champions hat for $15. This came part of that Miami Marlins bulk buy that I made here in Florida. So that sold also on Mercari. So the Rolling Stones um, book. This was listed recently, so I got it recently at a yard sale. I don't remember which yard sale I bought it from, but. I did, so yay, <laughs> glad I did. I sold for 15 bucks on Mercari. And then below it, there is a Zebra vinyl record that sold for, I think also 15 or 20. No, I think it sold for 20 on Mercari. And that, I think, came from Fleer Cross, Florida. 
pretty sure that's where that came from. So I probably paid a buck for that. So that's all Macari and that is all Facebook sales. So happy with that. On eBay, uh, we sold up in here another Ohio patch. Another patch, Ohio Wildlife. Uh, I think I'm getting like $14 or $15 for these. These came from the Route 40 sale in PA. And I'm getting some serious uh, PA in Ohio. I'm getting some serious FOMO right now because I'm watching people's stories and uh, sales this weekend. So I'm seeing people shopping already. Uh, sales started on Wednesday, I believe. Or this start, or this start Thursday? No, I think it started Wednesday. I remember I was... See, all day Wednesday I was in Zanesville and... I went, got to Columbus. Thursday, I wasn't from Columbus. I got all the way to Indiana. And then Friday, I went down to pick with Kayla, with Kayla in Kentucky. And then Saturday, yeah, yeah, it started, it started Wednesday. So it started yesterday at sale. So I'm having some serious FOMO about that. But I got this there. Uh, I got a bunch of patches from that sale. They're, I'm going to be selling them until the day I die. Also sold this really cool Frankie Muniz signed autograph picture. That came from a storage unit a long, long time ago. Uh, that thing sold for 50 bucks. Uh, sold a Cherry Ames Lightners. Talk about things I had for forever. This book I had forever. Uh, this came from uh, one of my like oldest successful videos. I think it was from, I called like, I like, got lied to twice at this yard sale. It might be like two years old at this point. It's that old, at least a year and a half old. So I had this for a long time. Um, I bought a bunch of uh, nurse um, Cherry Ames nurse books there for a buck each. And this is the last one to sell. All the rest of them are already sold. I think I got like eight bucks for that book. Then we have a price guide for baseball collectibles. This is a sale from the eBay buy it. So we're continuing to, uh, my theory continues to remain strong. Every order pull video, we have something from the eBay buy it. And then we have the Art of SEO uh, book, third edition. So for the book sold for, I think 20 or 25. Uh, I just made a video about it today on my channel on Thursday, June 1st. The video came out, uh, they got it from the same yard sale as uh, the Grinch Blow Mold and the Ursula Sensi. That book was there, this book sold for 20, I think 20 or 25, paid a buck for it. We got some time and through, new with tag shoes. These sold for $25. Got this from the bins a long time ago. Before we go to the bottom row, talk about the viewer sales. This really cute uh, Squishmallow donation was purchased by Suzanne. Suzanne did not leave me a note. Suzanne did not, was not a repeat buyer, but I just know that name. <laughs> I know Suzanne because she sent me something in the PO box uh, and it's from Illinois. That's where Suzanne's from. So I'm very confident this is a viewer. So Suzanne, thank you so much for your purchase of this really cute squish mall. I just got this on Monday at the flea market with, with Dave and Rod. Next, we sold a framed uh, Hoofen Roger Rabbit, Roger Rabbit NES game. This is also going to a repeat buyer, uh, the Flippin' Hoosier in Indiana, who wouldn't believe it, the Flippin' Hoosier lives in Indiana. Says, uh, he, he, he's the one that bought uh, the Cincinnati Red signed helmet earlier for me this year. He, and he writes, thanks for everything you do. Enjoy watching your videos. Uh, I have been watching long before you were talking about moving to Florida back in Philly. I am glad to see you are living out your dreams. Thanks for a shout out in your video a few weeks a few weeks back. Much appreciated. You should come check us out and give us give us a subscribe on YouTube as well. Hope you have a good day. Good day today and a better day tomorrow. God bless. Uh, Flipping Hoosiers. Uh, Flipping Hoosier on YouTube. Make sure you guys check them out as well. Thank you so much for your purchase. Then we sold uh, this really cool Hallmark like little snow globe um charlie brown it's not charlie brown who is this piano guy pig pen i don't remember it's a charlie brown character who plays the piano you think i should remember that since i'm a piano player but i don't <laughs> let's see i'll probably put in the title uh holly piano show car schroeder schroeder is that his name schroeder this is going to melanie and ray Colorado. Melanie in Ray, Colorado. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy it. Next, we sold a Rachel Pally women's top. Uh, top or dress. I think this is the last Rachel Pally dress I've had. I, I had those dresses for probably two years. No, more than two years. I had them for more than two years. I got them in the middle of COVID. 2020. So I had these dresses for three years now. It's the last one I think to sell. So to Lisa in Plymouth, Massachusetts. 
And thank you so much, Lisa, for your purchase. I hope you enjoy it. And then we got a little bundle sale here with this Nike golf polo and another uh, Peanuts with Woodstock. This is a Jim Shore figure. Uh, the Jim Shore figure I got, um, this I got at a yard sale in Venice, that I got at a yard sale in Jacksonville, Florida. So not the same yard sale, even though they're both peanut, uh, peanut figurines. Florida loves peanuts, I guess. And that is going to Rufan in Minnesota, but Rufan also goes by Four Seasons Picker. Thank you so much, Rufan, for your purchase. Rufan also came to my whatnot show yesterday and bought way too many pins. <laughs> I think the biggest bag of pins I, I packed was for her as well. Um, thank you so much. The, your, your support is overwhelming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support that you show, man. Again, every single time I do this, I'm overwhelmed by the support you guys show. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Let's continue with regular folk sales. These are great because I just bought all these and they're all sold. Super Mario uh, Deluxe for $25. Super Kart sold for like eight bucks. Wii Sports Results sold for 30. And Super Mario Bros for the Wii sold for 30 as well. I think the Super Mario Bros for the Wii is getting drop shipped because the guy is upset that I didn't ship it in the day, though I had two day shipping handling. And he's messaging me all day today when he's gonna ship, but I said it's gonna get shipped out tomorrow. And he's not happy with me, but I have two day handling, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, all of these I got on Monday at the flea market. Every one of these games, all from the same sale. Uh, what did I drop at that sale? I think I dropped $80. Pretty sure I dropped $80 at that sale. I got a complete Wii uh, with Mario Kart with the two controllers that are listed separately. All of these games. And I got two Game Boy Advance games, uh, including this one right here and another one. And then I got a um, four action figures, spawn action figures as well from that sale. So a lot of things from that sale. And now we have 25, 30, 60, 85. You got like $95 here, right? 30, 60, yeah. $95 here in sales. And um, so we're already in a profit. And the Wii still hasn't sold, none of the extra figures still haven't sold. The, the Mario Kart is a good game, and the other Game Boy Advance game is a really good game. I think it's also like 40 50 bucks. So that's going to be a really good flea market buy for me. <laughs> so all these things came from there. Next to it, we have a uh, DeWalt charger. This came from a community sale in Palmetto, Florida. That's the yard sale series I'm working on right now on my main channel. I paid five bucks for a charger and the drill. The drill sold for 40 This drill sold for 25 Guys, power tools, power tools, power tools. People overlook them so much at yard sales and they can be parted out, they can be sold really easily. Five into $65, easy sales. So this little Debbie, really cool, like statue thing, I think I got 25 bucks for that. Got that from a yard sale in Pennsylvania. These New Balance uh, cross like uh, hiking shoes sold for 25, fine sold for 25. I got these the first year of Pitches to Beaches with Kayla. So that was March of last year. So yeah, I had them for over a year. They finally sold. Um, this is a Vinnie the Pooh kids bed sheet. So it's like $12, $13. I got this from a yard sale in Pennsylvania. Uh, here we have some clothes. This Bud Light so a shirt sold for like 15. I got that. Uh, here in Fort Myers for a quarter. Then these all came from PA, so I don't remember where it came from. We got Levi jeans over here. This is an N Focus dress, a Mark McGuire shirt, and a USMC uh, hoodie. They all came from PA. They sold, and then all of these clothes came from here and were just all listed on Sunday. So a lot of stuff I listed on Sunday sold, including this uh, St. Louis Cardinals tank top and it's all for like $15. These right here are like men's Porsche racing button down shirts. They're really cool. And to be honest, I almost didn't get them and not almost didn't get them, I didn't get them. They came from a yard sale last Friday in Port Charlotte. So I had them for less than a week. Again, they were just listed on Sunday. So they all sold really fast. Uh, I think I dropped 60 bucks at that yard sale because she had a nice stack of video games that I bought. She had that, that air control thing that I bought. And a bunch of shirts that I bought as well. And I think it was like 55 was my total. So I just gave her 60. So I said, so keep 60. I'm cool that you gave me some good deals. So while I was, while I was like leaving, she ran after me and said, no, take these shirts as well. So she gave me these two shirts. I should have bought them right away. I don't know why I didn't buy them. So I, I, didn't, I didn't buy them right away, but she ran after me and gave me the shirts for free. 
and they both sold for twenty five dollars each. So it's fifty bucks right there. <laughs> uh, this is a Robert Graham a men's shirt. You guys should be looking out for a Robert Graham. I don't do a lot of clothing bolos here. But this is a clothing bolo, Robert Graham. That right there, those scripted letters, really good clothing shirt, and it's kind of like the male. Um, what's the word? What is her name? Lily Pulitzer. It's like a male Lily Pulitzer. The, the bolder the, the colors, the louder the print, the better it sells. This thing sold for thirty-five dollars. I have some rubber gram in my store for like fifty bucks plus that hasn't hasn't sold yet, but that's, that's what I'm trying to get for it. I think I paid a buck for that rubber gram in Bradenton, Florida. This uh, is I don't even remember what this was. What are you? Uh, C. E. Schmidt Workwear. Uh, I got this from the private pick in Port Charlotte where I dropped like 260 for a bunch of stuff. That show sold for 20 bucks. This pink polo was also from the same private pick. Also sold for 20 bucks. Um, that uh, St. Louis shirt was also from the private pick. And then these, I also got in Bradenton, same day as the Robert Graham, but different sale. And these sold for 40, I believe. And these are the Levi's orange tabs. You guys see that? That's a tab that's orange. Most of the tabs are red for Levi's. Orange are like, I think, 80s? Late 80s, early 90s, something like that. So it's an older pair of Levi's. They sell for a little more. Paid a buck, I paid less, less than a dollar for them. This guy was uh, a storage unit seller. So he had a bunch of stuff from storage units. I just made a big pile. I had probably like 25, 30 things in that pile. And he only wanted 20 bucks for the whole pile. So that was there. And um, so I, I think I have a 50 cents into it for 40. I believe that's it. I believe that's it. I don't think I missed anything. If I may have, I may have. It's too late now. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna pack all these guys up and get them out of here. Alrighty, we are done. 35 things packed. Boom, both bins full. Surprisingly, <coughs> not one thing's going, <coughs> not one thing's going UPS, but I guess not surprisingly, I'm thinking about now, I don't think I sold anything that big. What's the biggest thing was like little the little Debbie thing probably the biggest thing I sold. Let's go to Kentucky here. Yeah, so here we go. All done. All packed. Uh, time to right now go check out what is happening tomorrow. I haven't looked yet at garage sales, so I'm gonna have to see what's going on. Plan my my trip. I'm going <coughs> I'm going solo tomorrow. Uh, so I don't have, I'm not gonna pick up anybody. So um, that kind of makes me more of a free bird to go wherever I want. <laughs> So we're gonna search for that and uh, then take a shower and then head to bed. This was like one of those feel good days where like I did a lot of work, a lot of different things were done and pretty much every goal that I had was completed. So it's one of those days where you go to bed, you feel like accomplished, like yes, that was a good day at work, Paul, you did good, you did good, you did, you did good, good. Anyways, I'm off to bed guys, good night.